that right now. <laughs> um, but my worst cinematic experience is also Tarantino based. Okay. And so this took, this happened. So we go back to my favorite one, which is when I was like 14, 15. And uh, this happened a few years ago. And it was um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So <sighs> as, as part of the release of that movie, um, I had the great honor of, of spending some time with Quentin Tarantino, um, uh, interviewing him basically. Mm. And I went along and I was kind of nervous and I was anxious, but I was excited as well to talk to this man who's brought so many fabulous movies to, to the world. And, and, I, and I told him the story that I've just told you. And, um, and I said, so I'm really excited to be going back to the States. This is my kind of tenuous link. I'm really excited to be going back to the States to see uh, your brand new movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And he was like, where are you watching it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> who, sorry, who are you talking to again? <laughs> Jake Skagley. <laughs> what are you watching, you dirty rat? He said, he said to me, obviously, Quentin. Uh, where are you watching it? Come on. <laughs> you want to see it there? You want to see your eyes? <laughs> um, so, um, a man of a thousand voices. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, I said, I'm watching it on the lot, which for those of you who may not know, the movie lot is they have a screening room there, obviously. And he was, he was, really offended by the fact I was watching it on the lot. He was like, don't watch it on the effing lot. Why are you watching it on the effing lot? You see, I want to get you a bunch of fives. Can I? Hey. Right. And then he said, I'll stop doing that impression now. It's, um, um, he, uh, he, 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 he sounds ill. <laughs> he doesn't sound very well. Why are you well, watching it on the lot? I did the whole interview in that voice as well. It, it was a nightmare to listen to. It really was. Um, anyway, he said, watch it at my cinema. Right. Uh, so I'm in the interview situation and, I, you know, and I'm under the lights and I'm thinking about the next question. And, and so but surely this is sinking in. So I then go on the breakfast show the next day and basically tell 2.3 million people that <laughs> Quentin. And this, I was being genuine as well. Quentin Tarantino has effectively invited me to his house to watch his new film. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I picked this up for two weeks. In the end, now I just feel so humiliated. In the end, I was calling him on air. I was calling him Uncle Quentin. Like I was making oh out. My... The... Oh wow! Right, so I'm going to Uncle Quentin's house. So we yep. fly all the way out to LA. It comes the night of we're going to go and see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood uh, at Quentin's Cinema. Uh, so I, in my head, you know, we're going to get in a taxi, go to his house. I'll ring the bell. I bought a bottle of wine. <laughs> Quentin's done the snacks. He'll know me. I'm that guy from London, right? Uh, we'll go in, sit down, a bit of chat, you know, and we'll get. So anyway, it turns out that, as you probably already know, Alex, Quentin Antino owns a cinema in uh, downtown LA. And uh, it was it's just like it was just like someone owning any of the cinema chains here in the UK. So not only was I humiliated by the fact I wasn't going to his house, I've been calling him Uncle Quentin on air, but I actually had to queue up and buy the ticket. <laughs> Like, oh. like it was, I was just going, he basically said, go to my cinema, <laughs> buy a ticket. And it was, it was packed in there and, and I watched it and it was a great film and I really enjoyed it. But uh. it was just, it was the worst because it was the worst because of what I actually got compared to what I thought was going to happen were a million miles away. <laughs> Uncle Quentin, how could you? Was it a lot of people in that cinema going, how come you're here? I was meant to watch it on the lot. And they're like, did, did Quentin tell you to? Yeah, me. He told me, are you? Yeah. Quentin just walks around like no matter on the street. Like, hey, you should go to my cinema. It's like, oh my God, he's a friendly guy. I'm going around to Quentin's house. He's what, a what's that PR machine. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah. incredible. Humiliating.